I kid you not, this man said, oh, I'm talking to my cousin. Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Ari, and today we got some things to get into. If you watched my last video, if you didn't, go watch it now. We're starting from the beginning of trauma that I've been through in my life. So all these videos are going to be in order to my best ability, okay? To my best ability, all of these videos are gonna be in order. So make sure you start from the beginning because by the time we get to where we at now, 25 year old Ari, y'all would have been to learn a lot about me, why I am the way I am, and truly a testimony of not giving up. So yeah, here's this video. This story I've told on my channel already, but I do want to put these stories in order so you guys can can better understand it. So, um, in this video, we're going to be talking about my relationship with my dad. Growing up, me and my dad, I felt extremely close to my dad. I felt extremely safe with my dad. I felt like my dad loved me and I could feel the love with my dad. Now, at that time with my mom, I felt like she loved my brother more. I kept telling her that, and it was because she was always, to me, this is from my point of view, but she was always mean to me, but nice to my brother. You feel what I'm saying? I just felt more comfortable with my dad. I felt the more of the love with my dad. I used to spend a lot of time with my dad, like a lot of time with him. I, I know for a fact at one point, um, of my childhood that every day he was picking me up from school and taking me to school and buying me snacks and just, you know, really making me feel like a princess. Well, um, he used to have me around him so much, I guess my dad started getting real comfortable and he started talking to his hoes around me. But it's two traumatic things that happen that I will never forget and I have not forgotten to this day. So, just to preface what I just said, I remember the actual event, I just don't remember my age at the time of the events. So one day, my dad was talking to one of his side bitches that I didn't know, I didn't know what a side bitch was, you feel what I'm saying? I had made it home, like we was, we probably, he probably was picking me up from school while I was on my way home type shit and when my mom was giving me a bath that evening, I told her like, oh mom, yeah, my dad was on the phone with this lady or whatever. You know how kids are, kids just offer information. You feel what I'm saying? And so she was like, what? And I was like, yeah, um, I don't remember the exact conversation, but it was something along those lines. And so she was like, okay. So she didn't make me feel like I said anything wrong and, or did anything wrong. And honestly, at that time, I didn't feel like I did anything wrong. You know, I didn't feel like I did anything wrong. I told the truth, but I didn't think I was telling nothing. Like, I didn't think that that was gonna make their ass break up. You feel what I'm saying? I was just like, oh yeah, mama. And you know, um, she probably asked me how my day was. And I was like, oh yeah. You know, me and my dad, we did this and then. And I way here to talk to some lady on the phone or whatever the case may be because I can't even remember exactly what I said. So I remember I just continued taking my bath and stuff like that. So my mom walked out the bathroom and she, of course, went and told my dad what I said. And after I got the tub, she was like, when you got the tub, go to the living room. Your dad wants to talk to you. So, at that time, I felt like, I felt like I was in trouble. And so, um, I was like, okay. So, I went to the living room after I got the tub. And he was like, why you lied to your mom? I was like, what did I lie about? And so, you know, I don't remember verbatim word for word, but it was along these lines. And I was like... I didn't lie to her or whatever. He was like, yes, you did. You need to stop lying now or whatever. And I'm like, I'm not lying. So he was like, I'm finna whoop your ass. I'm like, you finna whoop me? What the, what the fuck did I do to deserve a whipping? I didn't do anything wrong. I told the truth. You was on the phone with this lady. I was thoroughly, thoroughly like 
confused like what so he whooped me real bad and that was his first and last time whooping me but he whooped me real bad and i and it made me look at him different at the time i looked at him like wow like you against me too that's how i felt at that time but as i got older it made me look at him like wow you a fucking liar. And you a lie, you'll punish me because you're doing something foul. You will punish me for telling my mom the truth. And I was so hurt. Like it it thoroughly hurt my feelings. And as I got older and I think about I think back at the situation, I had to question my mom. Like, why did you let him whoop me? Especially when you knew I was telling the truth, because that wasn't his first time of her finding out that he was moving foul in these streets. Or whatever. So why did you let him whoop me? So now y'all, I'm saying that to say, I'm showing y'all where my issues of feeling unprotected is gonna, the reason why. Where these issues is gonna show up at in my childhood. But just know, it's a pattern of me, me having to deal with consequences of other people's actions and nobody's getting held accountable for it and I'm the one that's getting punished for it. I wanna say shortly after that, she found out again that he was cheating. Because, or no, really what happened was my dad, I don't know what time it was, but I know it was late. So basically, my dad came home in the middle of the fucking night one night. And I don't know how the fuck I ended up being up. I don't know if I was waiting on my dad to come home because I do that. Like I was so like, y'all was so in love with my dad that I stay up, wait for him to come home and shit like that. Cause my dad, he's, he was, I don't know if he still is, like an uh, inspiring rapper. Cause late at night he'll say that he going to the studio or whatever the case may be. So my, um, so I ended up being there in, that, in this moment. I don't know what time it was or nothing, but it was late. I didn't know that because it was night time. So, my dad come home, and as soon as he come home, my mom was like, what if, what, where you been? You feel what I'm saying? And I don't know what he said, but long story short, she ended up telling him to get the F out. And we had an alarm system and I didn't, like, it was so high up that I couldn't reach it at the time. And so, my mom, she put, she turned the alarm on because when she was kicking him out, I was like, no, mom, no, no, why are you kicking my dad out? Like, I didn't understand this as a child. I just see you putting out the person that, the only person that I feel like got my back. I just see you put putting him out. You feel what I'm saying? I'm like, why? Why? Like, why are you doing this? Don't treat him like this. You feel me? But not understanding from her point of view what what was going on so um so he she ended up putting him out he got in his car his van he had a van at the time he got in his van and she know me so my mom had to turn on the alarm system so i went open up the door for him because that's what i was trying to do i was trying to open the door right back up for him like because what and she put a chair under the door, under the door knob, so he won't try to get in. And so, I was trying, I cried all night. I cried myself to sleep that night. I was so hurt and mad at my mom, but so hurt. Not even, but as I get older, I understand. But like at that time as a child, you don't understand all the dynamics of things that's going on. So I was very hurt. And very confused, and all I wanted at that time was my dad. So, um, so after that, I don't think he ever came back. I don't think he ever came back to our house. I don't think my mom ever let him move in or whatever. He she kicked him. I got three stories about my dad, but I'm probably gonna break them up into parts. I'm gonna tell y'all two stories in this video and one in the next video. So. I was extremely hurt by that shit and my dad moved out. So I don't know this time frame either, but I know that he ended up getting a girlfriend. Now, what I will say to preface this situation, 
this caused a strain in me and my mom relationship too because I, from a child, I'm looking at it like, why would you hurt me like this by kicking him out? I really, I really wasn't fucking with my mom like that, honestly. Like, I wasn't. Because I, I, and on top of that, I felt like she never fucked with me at that time anyway. So fast forward, he ended up getting a girlfriend. And his girlfriend was cool. She really likes me and shit like that. And my mama let me go over there. Like, my mom knew he had a girlfriend and whatnot. And it's the same lady that he was cheating on my mama with. So, I don't even see how she was cool with that. But I guess I was getting her fucking nerve so much that she would rather me just go with my damn daddy. Because that's what I wanted to do anyway. <laughs> see, my dad, he was a hoe. And I don't know if he still is, but I can just go based off of that time frame. I can say my dad was a hoe. So, the lady will go to work. And I don't know if my dad was a bummy nigga either because he was living with women. They wasn't coming to stay with him. But anyways, um, the lady was going to work or whatever. And when, he, when she go to work, I still be at home with him. And he will be on the phone with other bitches. Now, this situation made me look at my dad differently too. My dad used to get on the phone with them bitches. And he used to make me be quiet. He used to say, be quiet, don't say nothing, don't say nothing. So and I used to wonder like, why the fuck I gotta be quiet when he on the phone with these hoes? One day in particular, I was on the phone. He was on the phone. In the same room I was in, keep in mind, in the living room. If you want to be on the phone with them hoes and you ain't want me to be talking, you need to uh go in that fucking bedroom. But anyway, he came in the room with me while well, I'm up in there talking to him. And he was telling me to be quiet. And so I guess the lady asked, who you talking to? You feel what I'm saying? And he said, oh, I'm talking to my cousin. Did y'all hear what I said? He said, oh, and I, y'all, I kid you not, this man said, oh, I'm talking to my cousin. 